I love it. I call it my lab. It is uh, actually our uh, cacao lab. And all the drawers you have here are filled with beans from all over the world. We have about 32 different origins in stock, uh, 80 varieties in total. And um, if you look at the cacao producing belt, we actually have almost everything. Um, all kinds of flavors, all kinds of, uh, and mostly we go for the for the higher uh, qualities. Uh, the reason being that the little guys, you know, the the little guys we were discussing, they they're just they're artists, you know. You have to look at them like artists, and uh, they're looking for flavors they can uh, differentiate themselves with, that they can um, be able to uh, offer different products to to a market that is becoming increasingly more sophisticated. So in these sophisticated markets, it's just like in, in these uh, sophisticated wine uh, markets, you know, they, they, they want to offer something very special. Once the, the samples that we have here, we store them. Just give me one second. I want to make some room for us. So um, for all the samples that come in, uh, we have um, representative uh, samples drawn, and that's uh, about 30 to 100% of all the bags uh, comprising a lot. And we get samples from those samples, and that's what we have here. The reason we keep these beans is that we send these samples out to our clients so that they can make their own uh, tests for, for uh, making chocolate, seeing what kind of uh, roasting profile these beans need. But of course, we also need to know what we have, you know, and uh, if you want to find the right match to the beans, you also have to know what you're working with. So in the beginning, I used to do everything raw. I used to taste the beans raw. And using that as my basis, I would then look for, um, you know, the right match. If someone would tell me, uh, sell me something that's very fruity or sell me something that's uh, very chocolatey, then, you know, I would have an idea. But of course, that was uh, many years ago, that was very basic. So I started uh, getting my own little machines. And uh, well, right now, I was lucky enough that I have a precious oven. Rubber. I have my own little oven. I have the, the grinders, the, the cracker with which uh, we make our uh, liquor samples. So based, uh, I usually try the beans first raw. That's the best way for you to establish as well what kind Pressure, of yeah, rubber, yeah, we have with the beans. We, the quality yeah, tests we do, 